Hello, it's One Puncher here, playing Card Hunter. So there's two level 17 adventures. I think that's it. Yep, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the dungeon of the Swamp King. Here he is, the Swamp King, looking pretty feisty and pretty tentacular. If you, <laughs> it's a word I've just made up, uh, rather than tentacled or, uh, you know, I thought I'd go tentacular because he looks spectacular but with tentacles attached. Anyway. All that aside, um, what, the, what the hell are we fighting? Right, let's leap in on... I don't like them. I seem to remember them. Okay, let's leap in on him. Okay, what's that? That's the card that heals nearby. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Right, let's shredding strike him. Okay, what are you doing? Wow, five damage. That's pretty harsh. Okay, so I know these guys don't have any armor, so I might as well dissolve these guys' armor instead. Okay, they did have armor. It's always nice to know. And let's move up and get into range. Okay, and cut you. Okay, and cut you again. Now, it seems like a waste, but I want to get rid of one, just for the, to reduce the card draw. So I'm going to go for that. Then, inspiration on her. Okay, he shouldn't draw anything useful, and then move him behind here, so that he's off the damaging squares, and then pass, really. So there's four enemies left, one of whom is Barbara. Ow. Stop hitting me. Right, let's move her to here. Okay, they've shot me with something, but that's fine. I can deal with that. He's only on seven health, so I should be able to kill him with a bash. Okay, damn it, I can't quite get there. Okay, no more. Okay, and then let's wizard it up. Move him along here. Damn it. I'm going to hit him with... The... I'm not quite sure, actually. How much burning damage does it do? Burning two. Okay, in fact, so I will hit him with that, because then he'll die next turn. they doing? Not too much. I'm still out of range, so I'm going to pass. Luckily I get the advantage of the first turn when the next turn begins. And we managed to kill one of the slimes, or jellies, whichever they are. Okay, so which ones do I want to stop? Well, that's a larger group. They're drawing two, or it's, he's only drawing one card, so I'd like to get rid of these guys a little bit quicker. Okay, and then let's boil his armor just to get Oh, he did have some. Excellent, so it's good to get rid of that. And, well, he's kind of moved up close to me, so... Yeah. Might as well hit him as hard as we can. Okay, and then let's threaten these two. Oh, God. Okay, let's not. Let's just move in and do a bit more damage to him. Then heal the warrior, as he is the lowest health. Then help the weak. Then pass, I guess. Okay, so we've managed to get rid of the of one of each, and this guy's pretty pretty injured. And in fact, let's change that to dead, technically. Okay, so he's now effectively dead because he'll take two damage at the start of next turn. And let's get movement on. Yep. Okay, let's get moving. <laughs> one square. Okay. Then let's get you moving. Okay, how many blobs of slime have they got? They all seem to be slimed up. Okay, he's kind of annoying me. And then let's move the wizard over here. And spark up this guy. So we should be able to clear these guys out pretty easily. I can't see them, to be honest, overturning the, uh, the difference in character numbers. Get rid of heavy armor, because movement is a bit of a bitch at the moment. That fire starter we have. Right. So spraying that guy, just over half health. Puncturing stab in the first. And then powerful hack, so he is now out of question, so now we just have one guy left. One slimy marshmallow bastard. Okay, so hopefully we should be able to uh, get rid of him in short order, so let's focus on that. I say let's focus, like you've, you know, 
but it's me letting you down now in the fact that I haven't killed it yet. You know, I mean, you're probably sat there going, God, you could have killed it 20 turns ago if you used the magical ring of Nechrone, which, you know, is obviously what every other character and party uses. But, you know, I used my, my chisel, and it's working okay. So, so, anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I had a very weird incident at work. Um, and <laughs> it seems odd to talk about this, um, but I'm going to. Uh, it wasn't an incident that affected me uh, personally, and nor was it actually related to anything to do with work. So I feel that I can say this without any you know, sort of uh, professional integrity being lost. Because what it is, is the office that I work in is um, it's based in a park, and uh, I don't do anything to do with parking, you know, it's a normal office kind of thing. But the, <laughs> the, the problem is, the <laughs> you sometimes get drunks or weirdos in parks. Now, that's common knowledge. Everyone, everyone knows that you get weirdos in parks. Now, unfortunately, the downside of that is that sometimes you encounter weirdos on, you know, in a daily basis. Um, so sometimes it can be okay, and no weird. Oh, we've won the battle, but I'm going to continue with my weirdo base odd story. So, a, I was outside uh, smoking because I'm bad like that, and um, yeah, and so I heard a smash and didn't know what the hell that was, and it came from the other side of the building. So I made my way around the side and saw a man with a what <laughs> appeared to be a spider web tattooed on his face, and he was shouting and yelling. Uh, at people, random, random passers-by, and then I realised that one of them, one of the people he was shouting at was actually someone from my workplace um, <laughs> that he was just randomly shouting at. You know, they didn't know him, it was just like, he was saying, uh, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to report, are you going to grasp me up? Uh, that, kind of, that kind of jam. <laughs> and, uh, so this weirdo was, um, you know, stood there, talking about being grasped up, going a bit crazy. And eventually he, after banging his head on uh, the front door uh, twice, he then, uh, you know, and trying to get in to the building, which has a security code, he then <laughs> gave up and walked away. Now, the, oh, okay, back on the game for a brief moment. These guys have, are they gonna have only bones, aren't they? I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna just, ah, I can risk it a different way. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for this. See if he's got only bones. In a safe way. Yes, he does. Bugger him. Okay. Well, now we can move in. Aha. Didn't expect that, did you? I mean, movement. Right, stab you. And then stab you again. Right, he's now dead. And then healing blessing on the warrior. Okay, so back to the math important matters. Uh, let's go for another part of him. And let's heal her. Okay, so yeah, so this guy then started walking away and, you know, but at one point I wasn't quite sure whether he was going to get me. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a violent person, it's not really in my nature. And so I was suddenly thinking, the last time I had a fight was, was probably, probably about 15 years ago, something like that. Um, you know, I'm not really fighty and, you know, I don't consider that a bad thing. But, but this this guy, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to suddenly have to leap to the defence of my colleague and mash up some old, old guy. Um, so the guy was about, you know, 50-ish, and I just wasn't quite sure what was going on and whether he knew anyone at my work or he was just uh, mental. And it turns out uh, he doesn't know anyone <laughs> uh, where I work. But what he'd done is, and the interesting thing about him is, he actually only has one arm, and the smash had been him using his prosthetic arm to smash through one of the windows in the kitchen. So, so the one-armed man, honestly, I know this, this I know, given people who know me will know that I talk a lot of crazy, uh, you know, tales in like a jokey fashion, oh. you know, not as a lies, but as in like a jokey thing, or as in a trolling thing, but this is not one of those occasions. I am not at all joking with you when I say that a one-armed man <laughs> used a prosthetic arm to smash through the kitchen window of my workplace. <laughs> Um, and before stumbling off into a pub and being arrested by the local police. So, that happened. Um, 
And I couldn't really believe it because it was just fucking amazing. In all honesty, I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's bad, he smashed a window and, you know, it's not good and, you know, indicates that long-term mental health issues that he's going to have to deal with the rest of his life, whereas I only have to experience them during one moment where he stumbles across my path, but the fact remains that a crazy one-armed man punched his way through a window and... You know, I mean, I'm sure he's been picked up by the police, but they're not really going to be able to do anything, are they? I mean, you know, a slap, a slap on the wrist. <laughs> uh, which arm do they choose? Um, is it because, you know, technically it would be quite a difficult one. Which arm would you choose? The arm that's been bad or the arm that's his? Difficult. Um, I don't know which one I'd choose. <laughs> anyway, so this, this happened and has happened and it's done now. But today something else happened because this that happened um, well it happened last week but obviously that will <laughs> given that I'm uploading this at some point in the future and I don't have a specified date of when I upload stuff I don't know when I will oh are you taking damage no you're not okay so I can firestorm do I really want to yes I do. okay um yeah so time scale is kind of a bit out there but so that happened and. <laughs> Now, today, while, while I was, uh, I was actually out at lunch for most of this, but then a pigeon threw, flew through an open window and managed to hit the back of the head of someone. Oh, did he take more damage than that? Oh, he took more damage than I was actually anticipating. Never mind. We're all good. Oh my god, stop fireballing and stuff. Right, okay. Well... Shucks, let's get you out of the way. Do I just say shucks? I know I don't even say that word. Why did I just say it then? Okay, never mind. Let's not worry so much about that. Worry more about the game. But yeah, so a pigeon flew through the window and managed to hit someone on the back of the head, which I when I heard about it, you know, obviously again it's something bad, you know, it's bad, yeah. I mean the pigeon was okay, which was the first thing I checked when the story happened. And then was like, oh, is you know, are you okay? And then found out that the person who had been hit was okay. So then it was like, brilliant, there are no victims in the story, I'm allowed to laugh. So uh, the pigeon hit the head and everything was fine. Uh, it's not quite as exciting as the one-armed man smashing through a window, is it? It still isn't up there. And I don't know if, to be honest, I've got any other stories um, that are as good as a one-armed man smashing through a window that I've genuinely experienced now that I can, I can say. Um, I can put that on my CV. Have experience of one armed man. In fact, to be honest, oh, I want to keep the bash for smacking him. Uh, let's hack in. Yeah. Crazy. Wow, we're going to get through this. We're going to make it through. Uh, okay. Can't remember what song those lyrics to. Never mind. Right. Run in. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. You're dead. Okay. Good times. We got through that battle. Uh, rarely talking about the game. On to battle number three. What the hell awaits us? Ooh. Shizzle. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, the only... The closest thing I could possibly say to that story of a one-armed... The one-armed man experience was possibly when I was about um, 18, I think. A, I worked in a builder's merchant and... A weird, well, I say weird, I don't want to judge them actually, to be honest, because there might be a perfectly valid reason for this. But an individual wearing a beret, and please don't judge beret wearers, you know, that's not the point of the story. That's not the weird thing about him. He happened to be wearing a beret when this incident occurred, but I am not besmirching those who choose to use the beret. Uh, I'm going for him, by the way, because he looks horrible. And I've never seen one before, which indicates he probably is horrible. But now he should be dead. Yeah. Okay, well he's gone. Good times. Yeah, he was worth two, see? That's how you can work it out. Right, get you out of the way. Um, yeah, so this gentleman wearing a beret uh, came in into the builder's merchant. And I worked behind the counter. And I didn't serve him myself. But one of my colleagues did. And I was present throughout the encounter. Now, the thing that was strange with him, about him was the fact that he had walked into the shop and under his arm he carried 
a fully inflated sex doll. Now, <laughs> that happened. He walked in, bold as a lark. Is that an expression? I don't know. Never mind. Um, so he walked in with this fully inflated sex doll. And of course, he walks up to the counter calmly with an air of a kind of uh, self-involvement, so, which made me confused as to whether, because I wasn't sure whether, well, I'll skip, I won't skip to that part, but so he walked up to the counter and said, I would like an adhesive that sticks plastic to plastic. Now, we weren't quite sure what he was, uh, what he was up to, but obviously there are several theories um, in that it could be that he's drawn a short straw, it's a prank, and that he's had to be the one to go in and do that, and, you know, all his friends are outside tittering, and he's kind of, you know, the one who had to do it. But the <laughs> the other worrying call would be that if it was actually genuine, and if he actually really was hoping for an adhesive, because all he actually got was laughter and then a kind of curt response. In fact, I think, actually, no, I, I lied, because that, I think we actually did sell an adhesive. But, you know, I mean, that was pretty weird, but there was a lot of explanation to it, whereas one-armed man smashing window, there was no logical explanation, there was no reason, there was no rhyme to it, there was no inner story, there was no hidden grief, there was no poetic justice to the story, we were not villains, he was not striking out at the man. Uh, because, you know, he was striking out of the window, unless the man to him makes windows, or some sort, I don't know. I don't really know what variant of the man he believes. Anyway, um, what the hell am I talking about? I just, um, am talking. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, I don't know if you want more, or want me to shut the hell up and concentrate on the game, because I'm possibly dying. Right, let's not possibly undie. Let's do that. Okay, God, I waited for him to move up. Bollocks. Um, okay, I don't really want to run them in. You've got a lot of attacks. Let's pass, see what they do. Oh, shit, they passed as well, so I lose the turn and the chance to attack. But never mind, I've got a lot of attacks. And I've got healing as well, so heal the weak. Good times. Okay, right, you're stuck with that. Okay, one down. Okay, how much damage am I about to take? Quite a lot, I imagine. Damn you. Right. Then let's head you in. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there wasn't anything better, greater to that story. And what would have made it perfect for me, and, <laughs> you know, just sublime, would be the fact that if someone had known him, and if there had been some sort of reason, so that beyond the madness, there was you know, behind it even, there were, there was some sort of sense to be made out of this crazy one-armed struggle. Now, it's also not an insult to people who have disabilities, because it's not the fact that he... It's not the fact that he had one arm per se that, you know, that amuses me about the story. It's the fact that he used um, paraphernalia for a disability to cause damage to someone's property. That he's decided that that's the best use of, of what you know, of uh, what he has. Um, I guess. I don't know. I th Actually, no, to be honest, I think that's a lie. I think I do find the fact that he had one arm amusing, and I apologise for that unreservedly. Uh, I mean no offence to those, you know, people who have only one arm. And it, you know, and I can't imagine life with one then. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to guess about that. But the fact is that he punched through a window using a prosthetic art limb, which isn't possibly the intended use. But anyway, I'm g now that I've suddenly made myself feel like I'm being bad for talking about this, actually, <laughs> and that this might not be an appropriate topic, given you know, that he was obviously, you know, drunk, under the effect of drugs, whatever, and one-armed, and also being chased by Harrison. No, that's... <laughs> Well, they probably was. Um, okay, so anyway, that aside, you know, that happened. Uh, we've both got to live with that. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's get on with our lives. So we're really cruising through this. I'm barely having to think about it. Now, that's not bad. That's, that's good. That means that my setup's working. Um, so the fire attacks are helping out. The area mage attacks 
Okay. What the hell? Oh, this guy. I remember him. Uh, how do we kill him? Well, let's just shoot him. Okay, I don't know what those mobs do, but they are not going to be nice, are they? Uh, why did I move him? Now I can't unmove him. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, please go there. Thanks very much. Okay. We take one damage, but I can still stab you. Okay, and then I can shoot you with this. But please don't hit me. Because I don't really have anything else. And then let's pass. Okay, ow. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. I told you to stop. Right. Okay, I had to say we're cruising through it, didn't I? Why did I ever say that? Okay. Fire starter. Well, I can't really do it. He's going to attack me and just kill me. So let's move away, see what they do. Okay, please don't kill me. Okay, they can't kill me. Nice. Right, then let's apparently use inspiration. That's not quite what I intended to do. I went to greater heal. Good times. Okay, sod off. Right, I might have to do for him. <laughs> I might have. Right, okay, let's move the warrior. Oh, bloody hell, I can't even move that far. Right, move you away. Oh, the bash will knock him. Perfect, that's fine. Okay, well, we managed to get rid of that guy. And we have Wall of Fire on hand, so let's get a bit of healing on. They can't really do anything else with me at the moment. So I'm pretty safe, and my priest is kind of in the hole. So I can only see... Okay, let's go for it. No, let's go for that guy. That, or two, No, let's do more damage. Let's go for that. Damage is the name of the game. And we are doing more damage. So we're doing 16 rather than 8. Okay. They draw four a card, he draws three. So he's a pretty dangerous opponent. I have got Wall of Fire. What's this? Okay, that's fine. Please don't hit me. Now, Martyr's Blessing on the Warrior. So he at least gets to draw a card. Okay, good times. That was a pretty good card to draw. Okay, then let's move him around this way. Now, stop it. Okay. Then, well, I guess we're about to lose the warrior. So I can't... Re no, let's put some bait in there. Okay, and... I don't know if they've got any movement. I'm going to risk it. I might be a bit premature. They might still be able to mash me up. Okay, let's pass. Okay, one of them got off there. Right, they passed. Okay, so we managed to do a bit more damage. We've got rid of the tan mold. Thank God it was that way around. Right. Fire starter. And then we want to... Well, we really want to get out of this place. Uh, let's move the wizard away from the combat. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is he... What? How did he die? I thought he was on quite a lot of health. Okay, never mind. That's pretty odd. I thought he was on reasonable health, or I just killed him. Okay, that's well win then, because they're kind of all oh, pretty much, so they <laughs> so they just stay where they are. Right, that's not quite the intended use of that spell. Okay, get you out of there. Seriously, I think all they drew was movement cards, because they're just moving around after killing my warrior. I really... I, okay. I guess I'll, I'll find out when I watch it back. Out. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. But they're going to be able to heal, so let's heal him. Because he's pretty much my only damage-dealing guy, and I need to keep him alive. Okay. Then let's back him. God, he can't get away, can he? Not from both of them. 
Okay, well, let's boil their armor just to not have a chance they've got any. Oh, they, they did have some. And then let's get rid of you. So I can. Oh, then let's pass. Okay, so we're going to be reducing their card draw. I had to get rid of one on there. I know that wasn't the optimum amount of damage that I could have done. Then let's. I don't know if I can get out of this. Let's well win. And hope that none of them are near. Okay, that's fine. You ended up close to me, but I can get away. Then heal the weak. And move you along here. Okay, so I don't know what ranged attacks they have, so I might be able to get them. Two damage. <laughs> Take them down step by step. So it's three on two at the moment. I'm drawing one more card than them. Right, they've passed, so I'm going to shoot him. And I'm happy to pass as well. Discard. Um, get rid of that. And the block. So I prefer to have the armor killing one. So we managed to whittle him down a bit more. They're clearly all coming after the wizard, uh, the priest. But I might be able. To, no, they've got another movement. Let's wait. Let's wait and see what they do. Okay, that's fine. I can now get her out of the way. Get him round here. Oh shit! <laughs> Please don't do any damage. Oh for God's sake! Okay, well I don't really see this going my way, so I'm going to restart this battle. As I, I think to be honest, I wasn't really concentrating at the start. Uh, feel free to rewind and prove that I was concentrating. But this is all a lie. I think this battle I was concentrating actually. That's, so that was a bit of a lie. But to be honest, they did a lot of damage to my warrior that I really hadn't. Who's King Ogencott? Is that you? Musk and Zombie. Okay. Well, I haven't. God, I haven't really got any decent cards. Well, let's go. Inspiration on the wizard. Okay, good times. We managed to get resistance hide. They've got a lot of things going on. Okay. How can I... I don't really want to be anywhere near him. He says, and then moves his character nearer him. Right, let's go here. And then we can... Burning fingers him? Yep, yeah, let's do that. Okay, this really wasn't a good idea. Lunging hack. <laughs> Can't move. Smash him. Okay, let's heal the wizard. Okay, and this isn't going so well. I want to get rid of him, to be honest, as quickly as possible. Oh my God. When this pass. I <laughs> hope they pass. Okay. So he'll take a bit more damage and will have whipped him around a bit more. But really, it's killing the slimes and oozes that I found a bit tough in the last one. Okay, he's managed to move off there. So I'm going to lunging hack first of all. Then pretty much stand there and take the damage, although I can now run away. Yes, heavy armor, I really should discard you, but I kind of need you. Um, okay. Move you in here. Take more range damage. Move the priest, I want her between the two. Put behind the enemy. Jesus Christ, how much damage do you guys do? Okay. And then let us... Well, I think they've moved. I think they've done their movement. He says, and then watches them move off the... Okay, God. Oh, God, I can't get off there. I can't get away. That's it. And now those guys have just moved away. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is not going well. That was awful play by me. Right, Mark Stabby. Okay. Let's well win the enemies. I'm not off chance. Even though I was still killing the big guy. So that probably was a mistake. <laughs> His death's probably quite important. But you know, never mind. We'll see how we do. Okay, our armor managed to hold off that guy. For God's sake, I hate the heavy armor. Stop drawing it. 
I thought I discarded it. I must have just drawn, redrawn another one. Okay, so let's stab you. Let's move right next to you. Oh, thanks for moving right next to me. Okay. And now, even though... Oh, it's only going to heal the other guy. Hey, but he's already on full health, so I'm not that fussed about that. At least we've got rid of that guy. And they've got rid of my wizard. I'm going to restart this one. That was an awful start to that battle. Um, I might have been able to prevail, but really that that was just not, not good. Okay, right. I have to be cocky, didn't I? Oh, I'm getting through this adventure really quickly. I'm talking about the one-armed man and every, life is good. And then I realised I'm slowly being brought crushing back down to earth. Okay. Let's... Well, let's see what he's got. Let's perplexing rate him. Okay, we got rid of one of his attacks. Uh, I don't really want to pass, but I don't really not want to pass. So let's move her out here. Okay, so he has danced his merry way along here. I don't know if he's got any more movement, but let's pulverise it. Ow. See, six damage from range, just, you know, that's, that's more than my wizard does with everything but his best card. Okay, so we've now set him on fire. He's now going to take two damage for on two turns, so he's effectively on 22 health. Let us move in here. Got to get painful. Infected bite. That's fine. Enjoy. Okay, he does exactly the same straight back to me. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking beast. He just... Wow. Okay, well at least he's dead, but Christ. Okay, inspiration. Right, well they can do a lot more damage from range than I can, so you're drawing three cards. Getting rid of you would reduce the card draw by a massive total. Okay, let's move you along here so you're not base to base with them, even though they can attack that way. And I kind of want to get rid of you, even though that's a small amount of damage. It's a big cone. So let's do it, and then cone these guys as well. And I don't want to move... Oh, actually, I don't know what base-to-base -base stuff he has. Oh, no, he's got the pseudopods. Oh, look at these. Look at these guys. Well, I don't really care where they are, just as long as they're not near me. Okay, they... <laughs> One of them is near me. That's fine, just do me eight damage. Right, <laughs> okay. So, here we are. And pass. Okay, so, tactically, I wasn't really thinking about it. In the previous ones, um, possibly staying behind here would allow you uh, to take them longer to be able to see you. But, really, they're just doing a lot of damage. And there isn't... I haven't got any answer for it, because I'm not taking them down quickly enough. Because they are doing more damage than I'm doing. And they've got as much health as I've got. So... Yeah, you know, it's tricky. Okay, sold off. Oh god. They're now base to base with two of my characters. Okay, at least they're knocking me away. Let's help the weakest. And I don't I don't I think they're gonna move. As soon as I do this, they're gonna move. So let us hotspot you. Okay, you've got movement, that's fine. Okay, you just do me six damage. And again. Right. Okay. Well, it's nice, isn't it? Okay, so one of them, well, a few of them are a little bit hurt. So let's heal you. Okay, that's fine. And let's burn you so that at least one of you is dying. Okay, and how much burning damage does this do? Burning two, duration one. So he's annoyingly going to be alive at the start of the next turn. So I can't really kill anyone, so I'm just going to take you down as far as I can. Okay. This isn't going to go well. Right. Okay. We're going to restart. This is the fourth restart. I don't... I don't know if I might need to change my setup, really, for this, because, frankly, he does... An absolute fucking damage. 
in the, him being able to lay down as much damage as I'm doing, and in fact in their case more damage, because my wizard's doing three damage at range, they're doing six, you know, regularly, and I don't quite know if I'm going to be able, how I'm going to be able to do this, because I need to be able to kill him as quickly as possible, and I've that's all down to card draw. And I've not really drawn any cards that are going to help me with that. Okay, I guess it's about using the terrain to keeping those guys as far away from me as possible and possibly behind some sort of blockade. As they can just do that. Continuously. Right. What's the point in that? Why did I do that? I don't know, I think I've kind of given up at that point. I just realised the enormity of the task I face. <laughs> sort of it. Let's, let's give this one a go, and if not, I'll, you know, I'll move into some sort of cat catatonic state. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying now. Right, Martyr's Blessing on the wizard, because he is the main damage dealer. Okay. Okay, now fuck off and hide, you priesty. Yep, that's the one. Okay, you guys continue to move around. I'm sure you've got more movement, but let's just let's just see. Okay. Well, I haven't yet moved off there, so uh, let's see what happens if I move here. Yeah, parry that. Something like that, fool. Okay, eleven damage to you. And. Have you still got actions left? I don't know if you have. Okay, I kind of have to use that now. And I might as well. I might as well go for it. Yeah. Okay, now we've got Wall of Fire, which could, could be handy. I don't know if these guys have got more movement, and it would be really annoying if they did. So I'm going to kind of mix it. Oh. Okay, good times. We managed to block something. And let's pass. Right, he does have movement. Okay. And let's pass. Let's pass. Then seriously, pass. Okay, good times. Right. Well, at least a few of them are taking damage. And now, let's smash him up. Wow, one guy down. <laughs> one down. Many more to go. Okay, let's get you away from there. As you have no attacks and you're getting hit. Then let's heal the wizard. Then twin heals. Okay. I can't really do anything about that. Let's uh, let's well win the enemies. As they're all right in my face. And time is what I could do with, so let's try and take this guy out. Okay, and then head along here. So he's down to 20 health, and he's taking a bit of damage. She's managed to heal a bit, so we might be able to get enough time to get rid of at least one of these guys, because their card draw is killing me, because they have a lot of good cards. Okay, Firestorm, man. Perfect. Kind of perfect. Not ultimately perfect, but... You know, it'll do. Okay, I could have done with his armor working. Right, let's see how we get on. Okay, I'm gonna run him away. That's it. Ow, stop it. Okay, and then I'm gonna escaping run as the wizard, moving back here. Hopefully I didn't draw any card of particular value. Then Martyr's Blessing on the wizard. Okay, we've lost the warrior, but frankly he wasn't really doing much. As he, you know, it's rare that he draws uh, cards that are uh, damaging. So let's pass. Uh, discard that, discard that. Probably going to need the other one. And let's see how the damage goes. Okay. Okay, ouch. That was pretty painful. But now we can spark him, get rid of him. 
Well, that's one guy down. And that's my wizard down there. Christ's sake. <laughs> well, sod it. I'm going to fight this to the end and see how I go. Come on at me, you bastards. Let's see what you can, how you do against a priest who rarely draws attacks. That's right. Yeah, I drew an attack that time. <laughs> okay. Good times. You can, yeah? You want to see how you get on? Sure. I'll discard two cards. Don't worry about it. Sure. I'll take ten damage. And move into the corner. Am I dead? Yeah. Am I, why am I not dead yet? Okay, sod that. Right. This is it. This is the final countdown. No. <laughs> For God's sake. Why am I continually just why am I not burying my weapons and going for chops and stuff like that? Why? Why am I doing that? Okay, right. <laughs> this is the time. We've got Firestorm straight away, which is gonna at least do a bit more damage. Then we are going to perplexing ray on him, get rid of one of his attacks at the very least. Sizzling bolt on him. Then, really, I might try and make a break for that area there, but I, it would take a couple of turns to do it. You know, we're going to have to move people out into the middle while it's being done, but, you know, we, we've got to try something different here. Okay, now, okay, now let's heal you, so you're just taking a lot of damage, and let's heal you. In fact, I should have healed the wizard, but never mind. And let's move him along here. And pass. Get rid of the block. Okay, so we've got a bit of damage going on against these guys. We're taking a bit ourselves, but never mind. Okay, now we just need probably another five firestorms and we'll be fine. We'll be laughing. Well, we'll also be mostly dead, but never mind. Uh, okay, deadly spark on you. You are horrible. Okay, and then take a bit of damage. Get rid of... Actually, no, let's wait and see what he's got. Limited heal on the warrior. Okay, and then let's use that on him. We got rid of something good there, I'm pretty sure. I'm puncturing Sabian from here. And then let's get the hell out of dodge. Right, there you go. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well, I've got to use it. I didn't want to use it, but I had to get rid of him there. And then I'm going to wild run my warrior. So he is, he is safe. <laughs> and then let's hand her along here. So she, she's, going to, she's going to take a bit of damage. That can't be good, but we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to this guy. Okay, and we've nearly taken him down. And pass. Okay, so I think this tactic worked. Um, yeah, <laughs> seems to work more than the others. Although, to be honest, I think the amount of times I've played it, I'm just bound to get lucky. Although, I haven't got lucky yet. Now, heal you, destroy a card, that's good. Why won't you? Why aren't you dead? Okay. He's now dead. Right, how far can I get? Around there. Excellent. So I'm now hidden. Right, healing blessing on her. Then, really, I just want to hit you as much as possible. Uh, might as well boiling armor just to give a chance. He did have some armor. And then let's pass. And get rid of the movement of the warrior. Okay, and now we really want to move the wizard away. Okay, so they're going to be closing the distance, so that's fine. As I'm going to be running away. Right, haha. Can they still. Oh no, God. Well, I can't really do much about that. This might be the wizard's downfall. I can heal him. I'm going to heal him. So he does have a lot of damage that he can output. They've just passed, okay. They passed again. Why why are they passing? 
Surely they can spawn on their sleeves. Well, they've just passed, and two of them are in damaging situations. Um, I'm going to accept the pass, actually, I think. Although I could mash him up. Let's, let's go and do that instead. Okay, and let's go for you. And let's go for that again. Okay, I knew you had something. But now you're dead. Okay, so one of them's down. So we've ju reduced their card draw, even though they were being weird, as they could have almost killed the wizard. And in fact, killed the priest. Right, well they've fled away from <laughs> from my <laughs> unexpected attack. Now, my warrior hasn't drawn any attack cards, so he's going to flee again. Okay, the priest is hurt. But she can hit you. I know I could have killed that other guy. Right, inspiration on the wizard. Yeah, she's dead. I had to, I had to realise that. And he is now also dead. And he is now pretty dead. So we're gonna, they're going to be on the cusp of defeat. Hopefully, maybe. Well, that one's dead anyway, at the very least. And that one's nearly dead. So, although we're now dead ourselves, I can let his get in him. Yep. Right, well, he's going to take more damage next turn. But I can move hit the priest, no, the warrior, the wizard, that's the one. Right, I didn't really draw anything of use, so let's move in here. Penetrate and stab. Oh my god. Well, this could be it. This could be the time. Well, <laughs> that's it. That's done. We've done, done it, finally. After failing so many times at the same battle. God. Wow, we got through. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we mean to say something important to you. Never a, a truer a fellowship has been formed for a more nobler task. We strove to the bitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. For he who sheds with blood with, for me today is my brother. Okay. Well, that's sad that that um, speech was being cut, but never mind. Oh yeah, epic sword. Uh, it's, it's, well, actually the last one was pretty good. Okay, well, yeah, God, got through it, um, just about. Thanks very much for watching, and I will try not to talk about one-armed crazy assailants next time. See you next time, thank you, bye.